After completing the mother mission, you're now aware of a typeface called Helvetica, which apparently is everywhere. And it is. It's all over the place. It's a beautiful typeface. That's my opinion. Uh, if it weren't, why would it be used so extensively? Um, others differ. Helvetica is not universally loved. Uh, but kerning, what makes for good use of typography? Well, it, it begins with the choice of the typeface. What typeface are you using? And uh, you might think of that as a font, and that's okay. The term is becoming uh, interchangeable. It used to be completely distinct from typeface. But after you've chosen the perfect typeface and you lay out your message, things can go wrong. And when different people walk around their world, a very few react like this. And most people react like this. They have no idea. I am going to make you aware of not only what kerning is, but what bad kerning is. Kerning is the individual spaces between letters. That's what kerning is. And the space you can also kern between words. You're kerning a space in between those words. Um, and if you go out to XKCD and look at this, Randall has done something. He always leaves um, a little tooltip that pops up and that amplifies the joke. That's optional to go chase that down. But bad kerning is everywhere. I made t-shirts for Valhalla for, I don't know, more than a dozen years. Uh, the last three years, someone else has made the school t-shirts. And they have broken good rules of design. <laughs> Two, three years ago, I was not chosen because the principal knew I wouldn't do what she wanted, which was to break some of the rules of good design. And no, because they're rules of good design for a reason. And kerning is one of them. Recognize this shirt? You have this shirt, chances are. When I look at this shirt, I think, oh, doggone it, someone didn't know how to apply a stroke correctly or to chase down, you know, random stray pixels and what they can do to a stroke. And then there's a little bit of kerning issues here because you've got to account for that A. But then when I look at this whole thing, the theme of this year is I am Valhalla. But this shirt doesn't say, I am Valhalla. And by the way, this is, I am not disparaging whoever put this together. Because chances are the person that did this didn't know about kerning, about the negative space around characters should be similar in all cases. And I think if you look here, you notice there is more space here than anywhere else between these letters. There's less space here. And then, you know, here's the other. Your, your goal should be to find a happy medium. It's not mathematical. It's visual. However, the message here, besides Orange Nation, we're the Orange Nation, but the theme this year, I am Valhalla. This shirt does not say that. This shirt says, I am V Alhalla. I am V Alhalla. Notice how that is one word. A little extra kerning right there. A capital L A is a deadly combination, tough to deal with. Um, but this, you could drive Odin's sled through there, whatever Odin rides on. Um, so I'm not, wear this shirt proudly, but every time you put it on, remember bad kerning. Bad kerning can wreck a message. Bad kerning can wreck a message. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute.